All right, here we go. Ooh, someone has a love letter. All right, hopefully the luck of the Irish will be with us. going for in the jail cell Hello? is there someone out there who is it by all that's holy you I can't believe it well what a small world after all took the words right out of my mouth maker's breath how did you get here I never thought I'd see you again of all people uh, what have you done now What they do to all traitors and would-be assassins. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you to finish me off. I understand yes. why you're angry. Ow. They told you I poisoned our Lehman, didn't they? For all I know, he's already dead. Well, guess what? I already know about that. But that's just one more crime to your list of crimes. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was... Uh, a terrible thing, but I'm not behind a everything else happening here, thing. I swear. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Well, the Chantry sent her away, and you blew it. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. Just the two of what us. What happens now? Yo, how did he get involved in all this? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. Yes, you are. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Let's see. Why are all Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. Bull. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Well, relax, Cher. Why wouldn't I? I was desperate, and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Terran Loghain. Why wouldn't I believe him? So he hired you. Once a fool, always a fool. Oh, thanks. That makes me feel so much better. At least let me explain what I was doing here. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. Alistair, what are you she doing? She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Yo, it is her responsibility. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I... I see. The Arl's a decent man. 
I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Because you stupid. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. See, why should I believe you? I'm still the same Jowan you knew. No. If, if you're still the same friend I once had, I'm hoping you'll help me do what I know is right. He wishes to Dude, what is Alistair himself. doing? Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. Hmm. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Dude! I won't, I promise. Then... I will find a way to fix this somehow. Yo, may he get executed. For real. It is begun. Hey, I can fear finally cure my chronic headache. There we go. That's one. Two. Today, Skeletor. That's all shot. You know what? Let's go here. We'll put that on for now. that on No, I need the willpower and the magic. All right, Alster, you need anything? Yes, you do. You need a new hat. You need new boots. Oh, heavy chainmail. He can wear that. No. One of these days. Doggo's good. It's gonna bug me forever. Or else. Take a look at the weapons. Yeah, let's put some ice arrows on that. Alright, 
Carry on, my wayward son. And also a quick save. Close. Close. But good. The street of the Chan Tree. Do that for you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can do that for me? Because it doesn't. Because it looks like you can't do that for me. Scum. leveling up again. Jesus. <laughs> Yay, level up. It is begun. I'm going to sell these things. Can I please? Not yet unlocked. Yet. Let's see. Give me the contusion. Oh, 
Uh, let me... Killing me with that. Killing me. Nope, bad doggies. Nope, speak to them. We are friends, not food. And now I'm through. Sorry, bumpies. Oh, I'm gonna screw it again. That's why you're not doing that glitch at the beginning. So, what I get? No, I Very shouldn't well. save scum. But tough times come from tough maneuvers and not wanting to do stuff over again. I have to do healing. I hate healing. first. Okay, you guys 
let's take him. smarter now. And yes, I will be safe coming. Plus, I need XP. You know what? Let's get the dog. Still not surprised. Oh, always a happy dog. Such a good dog. Very well. Let's see, ooh, well, I'll take it all. Shall be done. Yo, somebody got burnt. Nope. Everybody's injury prone. Trap right ahead. Oh my goodness. Cure for that headache. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. No bedroom? I'll do it. Meh. Hey, person. On. Willpower. Willpower. And you know what? Save scum. <laughs> Please! Don't hurt me! Uh, you're dead. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. Elena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? Let's see, the Smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Yep, tunnel through the dungeon. But, but the monsters... Are dealt with. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Dude, it sounds that hard of a run actually but still it's now cleared
Actually, you know what would be funny? If we told her to run. And yet you get eaten. Shall be done. Galls and nothing else. Stop being naked. Like I said, though, we need XP. So, like I said earlier, we're going to carry on. Inspect this whole castle. Make it clean, as clean can be. I shall not work. All right, looks like we need a key. All right, to the basement, as you say. I could do that for you. I... I'll take that. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. What? Chances are we'll be heading to dinner room soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Okay. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. <laughs> the thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. But I now you know about, about her? me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking, and, well, I found out she's still alive. Well, the more you know. Room. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I... I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Mm, you could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Okay, now can we look for the junk? Sweet. Okay, that was a little weird. Another love letter. What is going on? All right, up we go. Oh, shucky ducky.
Oh shoot, not good. Do the singing. Yeah. Right, that shit. Help him a little. And of course, Liliana had to die. Now we just lost. Wait, good boy. God, it was easier on consoles or something. Like, I legit do. Venturing forth, so we don't have to do all that again. These things can have unusual powers. Be wary. Thanks. Should probably give Alistair a shield and a sword. Hmm, I forget. Taking up slot. We got uh, so much elf roof, but no flas. Absolutely flas it. <laughs> Dude, that's talent. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. 
And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. A maid. Just as I am. You lie! This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? Burn. Oh, what's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Nope. Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I have no intention of harming him. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't! Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. Eh. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Um, Arleman? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ooh. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now, she'll repay me. Oh, sorry. Not sorry. Everything's good, everything's good. Oh, wrong one. Hey, we did good. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you alright? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Think Blessed or you know. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Yo, sounds like every parent I know. Hmm. But either way, I won't kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Let's see, he's coming with me. I 
I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? Oh, You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Well, you kind of screwed it up. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. No. There's, there's a way. I, I must know it. Please, tell us what you mean, Jawan. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual. But I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. No. So, no. Someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Hmm. No, it's not an option at all. I I understand. I just... I disagree. I think we should do it. Let it be my blood. No, I you will be the idiot. sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Thank you. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Whatever you do, do it quickly. There's not much time before Connor does something else. Yo, once again... He's not killing anyone. 